Is the divine stealing from you, killing you, destroying you? Now, I was brought up on a verse from the Bible, okay? And it was all about um, Jesus actually saying, I came that you may have life in all its fullness, but the thief comes that he may steal, kill, and destroy. As I started to actually look deeper into some of the um, some of the ideas I had bought into, uh, particularly around religious dogma, I realized that actually I was as, uh, associating, I was ascribing to the divine the qualities of stealing, killing, and destroying. I was worried that he did not want me to prosper. And so I didn't really choose to prosper, though I thought I was. I was worried that he would kill me for all eternity for making any kind of mistake. I was worried that he would destroy me. Now, bear in mind that the actual teaching said that it was the enemy, the thief, that came to steal, kill, and destroy. And yet I was ascribing to the divine these very qualities whilst telling myself, oh, I needed to be careful what I wanted. I needed to, to tame my desires. And, and it's sounding really holy, sounding really good. But it was all keeping me from my own prosperity. And I see so many religious people doing that right now. I know everybody wasn't brought up with the Bible or, or any of the stuff. Some of you might not even know what I'm talking about here, but some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. But have you thought about it in this way? Think about how you think about your, your higher power. Do you see your higher power as something, someone stealing from you, keeping you from your own good whilst telling you, or whilst you tell yourself that, oh, you know, if it's, if it's the divine's will, if it's God's will, just waiting on another word from the Lord. And all the while your life is fading away. You claim to believe that you are, you, you should experience life in all its fullness, but you are relating to your deity, to your higher power as though you should live life in lack and scarcity and poverty because that makes you so holy and you are fighting for the right to stay broke. You are fighting for the right to live in scarcity. You are, because when I, people like me tell you this stuff, there's a part of you, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to be too proud. I don't, I'm, you're not even questioning where these ideas are coming from. These ideas that keep you from your highest good. But I want you to question. I want you to think about what you're thinking about. I want you to think about what you're believing and what you're ascribing to the divine whilst telling yourself that you're worshiping the divine and you're being good and, and you know, you're honoring the divine. Are you though? Are you though? Or are you actually in some ways insulting the divine because you think that he, she is trying to keep you down and you're, you're making it sound as though it's a good thing. Are you hearing what I'm saying, honey? Do not let your need to be right about your dogma, your lifeless dogma. Don't let your need to be right about it. Be so big that you refuse to notice that actually you're believing lies that you haven't questioned in so long. I was there, so I get it. Some of the stuff that I'm saying right now, I may not even have listened to myself six years ago, seven years ago. But I hit rock bottom and finally I started truly listening to the, to the divine, to God. And I finally realized I had been making these crazy choices that kept me down. Honey, come to the faith workshop. This isn't, it isn't religious. It really isn't. When I talk about faith, I'm not talking about religious faith at all. I am literally talking about your ability to manifest the things that you desire in your life because you are the one with all the choices. The divine is not holding anything back from you. You are the one. You are the one because of certain things you believe that is keeping yourself from your own good. Are you done with playing that game with yourself? Are you prepared to finally look at what, what you're believing and realize that it is not supporting you in living life in all its fullness? You are are meant to thrive and prosper. The divine desires that you thrive and prosper if you are willing. 
the free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love drenched life is available to you if you are willing. But if you are not, if you're too scared, if you're too bullheaded <laughs> in the wrong way, because you need to be bullheaded absolutely to get what you need out of life. But if you are bullheaded in a way that you're just trying to be right about your dogma rather than looking at your life and realizing this dogma is not getting me where it's, it's telling me I should be going. I know this is not, not everybody's going to be able to hear what I'm saying here. Some of you are too, you're too scared. Too scared of hell, scared of God sending down lightning bolts. But you haven't questioned whether that even sounds like love to you. This is not religious. This is not, but I know that a lot of people in this community, that is the thing that will stop you. I don't need any of you to change your religion. I just want you to be able to actually utilize it in a way that supports you in living life in all its fullness. Do you at least agree that life in all its fullness is yours? If you are not experiencing it, don't you think that maybe a little bit of a tweak is required? Right? Or you know what? I'm not here to talk about dogma. I'm literally here to give you very practical tools to equip you and empower you to thrive and prosper in your everyday life. What you choose to do in terms of religion, I don't care. It matters not. What matters is, will you allow yourself to thrive and prosper if you want to learn exactly how to do this stuff? To take what you've been learning since God knows how long you've been religious or spiritual for and actually apply it to your life in a practical way that gets results, come to the Faith Live Online Workshop. Okay? The link will be around this video. Come Share this video with someone else. Some people are not going to like what I've just said. I get it. And that's fine. I come with a heart full of love. Deeply desiring that we spiritual people rise. Rise in prosperity. Rise in every area of life. The world needs us. But first and foremost, you deserve to thrive and prosper. Will you allow yourself to? If you are ready to make the choice to thrive and prosper, come to the workshop. It's called Faith. It's a live online workshop. I don't care where you are. You, as long as you have an internet connection and if you're listening to me right now, you have enough to be able to come through to the workshop. Okay? Come. As I say, the link will be around this video. Come. Share this video with someone else. Other people need to hear this stuff. Come. Okay? Much amazing love.